U.S. Marine from Long Island was identified as the third U.S. service member killed by a roadside bomb in Afghanistan on Monday. 25-year-old Corporal Robert Hendricks was from Locust Valley. He was reportedly slated to return home within the next two months. The Taliban has taken responsibility for the attack. Meanwhile, today, the FDNY is still mourning the death of one of their own who died in that very same blast. There are efforts underway to help the family of this fallen U.S. Marine and firefighter. Nate Rogers has more. Bill, the sudden death of 43-year-old Christopher Slutman has certainly shaken fellow Bronx firefighters and his family. Slutman leaves behind a wife and three daughters. Now, in attempt to ease the burden on his family, a local foundation is now committed to paying off Slutman's home mortgage. To make sure that you send the right message out there that's just not mourning, let's not feel bad for them, let's take care of them. It's our duty and our obligation. Dozens of Slutman's fellow firefighters from Engine 46 Ladder 27 attended today's announcement. In the last four years, Tunnel 2 Towers has paid mortgages off for at least 40 families of first responders and military heroes. Also in attendance, the widows of two firefighter service members deployed in Iraq who died in a helicopter crash last year. I can personally tell you I know exactly what you're feeling today and for the next few days, weeks, months, and a year later. Um, it doesn't get easier, I wouldn't say easier is the right word, it just gets um, a little more familiar. Slutman was a 15-year veteran with the FDNY and also a staff sergeant with the U.S. Marines. In 2014, he was awarded the Fire Chiefs Association Memorial Medal after rescuing an unconscious woman from a burning building. He was as good-natured as they come. Again, very serious, but he liked to have a laugh, too. And, and, and you need that. The foundation is now working to raise money to pay off the mortgage. If you'd like to donate to this effort, you can visit tunneltotowers.org. In the Bronx, I'm Nate Rogers for Chasing News.